In mathematics, particularly in differential topology, there are two Whitney embedding theorems, named after Hassler Whitney. The strong Whitney embedding theorem states that any smooth real m dimensional manifold required also to be Hausdorff and second countable can be smoothly embedded in the real 2 m space R2 m, if m0. This is the best linear bound on the smallest dimensional Euclidean space that all m dimensional manifolds embed in, as the real projective spaces of dimension m cannot be embedded into real 2 m1 space if m is a power of 2, as can be seen from a characteristic class argument, also due to Whitney. The weak Whitney embedding theorem states that any continuous function from an n-dimensional manifold to an m-dimensional manifold may be approximated by a smooth embedding provided m greater than 2 n. Whitney similarly proved that such a map could be approximated by an immersion provided m greater than 2n minus 1. This last result is sometimes called the weak Whitney immersion theorem. Topic: <laughs> A little about the proof. The general outline of the proof is to start with an immersion f m r 2 meters with transverse self intersections. These are known to exist from Whitney's earlier work on the weak immersion theorem. Transversality of the double points follows from a general position argument. The idea is to then somehow remove all the self-intersections. If M has boundary, one can remove the self-intersections simply by isotoping M into itself the isotopy being in the domain of F, to a submanifold of M that does not contain the double points. Thus, we are quickly led to the case where M has no boundary. Sometimes it is impossible to remove the double points via an isotopy. Consider for example the figure 8 immersion of the circle in the plane. In this case, one needs to introduce a local double point. Once one has two opposite double points, one constructs a closed loop connecting the two, giving a closed path in R2 meters. Since R2 meters is simply connected, one can assume this path bounds a disk, and provided 2 meters greater than 4, one can further assume by the weak Whitney embedding theorem that the disk is embedded in R2 meters such that it intersects the image of M only in its boundary. Whitney then uses the disk to create a one-parameter family of immersions, in effect pushing M across the disk, removing the two double points in the process. In the case of the figure 8 immersion with its introduced double point, the push across move is quite simple pictured. This process of eliminating opposite sign double points by pushing the manifold along a disk is called the Whitney trick. To introduce a local double point, Whitney created a family of immersions alpha m, room r2 meters which are approximately linear outside of the unit ball, but containing a single double point. For m equals 1 such an immersion is given by alpha r 1 r 2 alpha t equals 1 1 plus T two T minus two T one plus T two Display style begin cases alpha math BF R carrot one two math BF R carrot two alpha T equals left frac one one plus T carrot two T frac two T one plus T carrot two right end cases Notice that if alpha is con C, dirt is a map to R three like so. Alpha t equals one one plus t two t minus two t one plus t two zero Display style alpha t equals left frac one one plus t carrot two t frac two t one plus t carrot two zero right. Then the double point can be resolved to an embedding beta t a equals one one plus t two one plus a Two T minus two T one plus T two one. 
plus a two t a one plus t two one plus a two Display style beta T A equals left frac one one plus T carrot two one plus A carrot two T frac two T one plus T carrot two one plus A carrot two frac tar one plus T carrot two one plus A carrot two right Notice beta T zero equals alpha T and for a does not equal zero then as a function of T beta T A is an embedding for higher dimensions m, there are alpha m that can be similarly resolved in R2 m plus 1. For an embedding into R5, for example, define alpha 2 t 1 t 2 equals beta t 1 t 2 t 2 equals 1 1 plus t 1 2 1 plus t 2 2 t 1 minus 2 t 1 1 plus t 1 2 1 plus t 2 2 t 1 t 2 1 plus t 1 2 1 plus t 2 2 t Two Display style alpha underscore two T underscore one T underscore two equals left beta T underscore one T underscore two T underscore two right equals left frac one one plus T underscore one carrot two one plus T underscore two carrot two T underscore one frac two T underscore one one plus T underscore one carrot two one plus T underscore two carrot two frac T underscore one T underscore two one plus T underscore one carrot two one plus T underscore two carrot two T underscore two right. This process ultimately leads one to the definition alpha M T one T two T M equals one U T one Minus two T one U T one T two U T two T one T three U T three T one T M U T M Display style alpha underscore M T underscore one T underscore two C D O T S T underscore M equals left frac one U T underscore one frac two T underscore one U frac T underscore one T underscore two U T underscore two frac T underscore one T underscore three U T underscore three C D O T S frac T underscore one T underscore M U T underscore M right where U equals one plus T one two one plus T two two one plus T M two Display style U equals one plus T underscore one carrot two one plus T underscore two carrot two C D O T S one plus T underscore M carrot two 
The key properties of alpha m is that it is an embedding except for the double point alpha m 1 0 0 equals alpha m minus 1 0 0 Moreover for t1 trademark large it is approximately the linear embedding 0 t1 0 t2 0 trademark equals topic eventual consequences of the whitney trick equals the Whitney trick was used by Steve Smale to prove the H. cobordism theorem, from which follows the Poincaré conjecture in dimensions m5, and the classification of smooth structures on disks also in dimensions 5 and up. This provides the foundation for surgery theory, which classifies manifolds in dimension 5 and above. Given two oriented submanifolds of complementary dimensions in a simply connected manifold of dimension 5, one can apply an isotopy to one of the submanifolds so that all the points of intersection have the same sign. History The occasion of the proof by Hassler Whitney of the embedding theorem for smooth manifolds is said, rather surprisingly, to have been the first complete exposition of the manifold concept precisely because it brought together and unified the differing concepts of manifolds at the time. No longer was there any confusion as to whether abstract manifolds, intrinsically defined via charts, were any more or less general than manifold extrinsically defined as submanifolds of Euclidean space. See also the history of manifolds and varieties for context. Topic: <laughs> Sharper results. Although every n manifold embeds in R2n, one can frequently do better. Let E n denote the smallest integer so that all compact connected n manifolds embed in Re n. Whitney's strong embedding theorem states that E n 2n for n topic 1 2 we have e n 2n as the circle and the klein bottle show more generally for n topic 2k we have e n 2n as the 2k dimensional real projective space show Whitney's result can be improved to e n 2 n minus 1 unless n is a power of 2. This is a result of Andre Hayfliger and Morris Hirsch for n greater than 4 and C T C Wall for n equals 3. These authors used important preliminary results and particular cases proved by Hirsch, William S. Massey, Sergei Novikov, and Vladimir Rocklin. At present, the function e is not known in closed form for all integers. Compare to the Whitney immersion theorem, where the analogous number is known. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Restrictions on manifolds. Equals. <laughs> One can strengthen the results by putting additional restrictions on the manifold. For example, the n-sphere always embeds in Rn plus 1 which is the best possible closed n-manifolds cannot embed in Rn. Any compact orientable surface and any compact surface with non-empty boundary embeds in R3, though any closed non-orientable surface needs R4. If n is a compact orientable n-dimensional manifold, then n embeds in R2 n minus 1 for n not a power of 2 the orientability condition is superfluous. For n a power of 2 this is a result of Andre Hayfliger and Morris Hirsch for n greater than 4, and Fukin Fang for n equals 4. These authors used important preliminary results proved by Jacques Beauchat and Hayfliger, Simon Donaldson, Hirsch and William S. Massey. Hayfliger proved that if n is a compact n-dimensional k-connected manifold, then n embeds in R2 n minus k provided 2 k plus 3 n equals Topic: Isotopy versions. Equals: A relatively easy result is to prove that any two embeddings of a one-manifold into R4 are isotopic. This is proved using general position, which also allows to show that any two embeddings of an n-manifold into R2 n plus 2 are isotopic. 
This result is an isotopy version of the weak Whitney embedding theorem. Wu proved that for n2, any two embeddings of an n-manifold into R2n plus 1 are isotopic. This result is an isotopy version of the strong Whitney embedding theorem. As an isotopy version of his embedding result, Hayflieger proved that if n is a compact n-dimensional k-connected manifold, then any two embeddings of n into R2n minus k plus 1 are isotopic provided 2k plus 2n. The dimension restriction 2k plus 2n is sharp. Hayflieger went on to give examples of non trivially embedded 3 spheres in R6 and, more generally, 2d 1 spheres in R3d. See further generalizations. See also Representation theorem, Whitney immersion theorem Nash embedding theorem equals equals notes <laughs>